Hello grandma. You won't believe what happened at school today. Oh? Please do tell sweetheart. I am all ears. Well, you know my friend Vijay, right? He's really nice and always shares his stuff. Yes, I remember Vijay. He sounds like a kind boy. He is grandma. But today something not so nice happened. You see, there's another kid, Amar, in our class, and he's really good at tricks. Tricks, you say? What happened with Amar and Vijay? So, today Vijay had the school pen he really liked, and he was showing it to everyone. just like kids do when they have something new i see it's nice to share your excitement with friends yeah and he was so excited about it but then amar came over and he had a bag of chips chips what do chips have to do with vijay's pen That's the tricky part, Grandma. Amar told Vijay, "I will give you this whole bag of chips for your pen." And he waved the bag of chips right in front of Vijay's face. Oh my! That sounds like a sly move. It was. And Vijay really loves chips. He got tempted, and he gave Amar his pen for just a few chips. That's not fair, dear. Vijay gave away something precious for a small bag of chips. I know, Grandma. That's what I thought too. But you know what? After Vijay gave away his pen, Amar just laughed and didn't give him the whole bag of chips. He just gave him a few. That's not very nice of Amar at all. Poor Vijay. I feel so bad for Vijay grandma. He did not deserve to be tricked like that. It's important to be kind and honest with our friends, sweetheart. Vijay learned a tough lesson today, and I hope he'll be more careful next time. I hope so too, Grandma. And I'm going to share some of my snacks with Vijay tomorrow to make him feel better. That's a wonderful idea, my dear. Being a good friend is. all about kindness and looking out for each other let me share a short story that might be beneficial for you and your friend vijay the story is a folk tale from haryana called the silver well in a small haryana village they lived a shrewd and deceitful man who relied on trickery to amass his wealth his life motto was simple why work when deception can bring riches this guiding principle steered all his actions one day the cunning man set his sights on a naive farmer who in his simplicity became the unwitting victim of a clever ploy the crafty individual approached the farmer with a dubious proposition i find myself burdened with vast tracts of land 
that I can scarcely manage. I am inclined to part with some of it. Would you be interested in acquiring a portion? In need of more land, the farmer eagerly replied. Yes, I am interested. But I would like to see the land first. With a nod, the crafty individual agreed, leading the farmer to an expansive field. In the corner of this field stood a humble hut alongside a well. I am willing to sell both the hut and the well, proclaimed the deceiver. But I must warn you, the well is the more precious of the two. Perplexed, the farmer inquired, What makes this well so special? The trickster replied, It's known as the silver well. Deep within, it hides an abundance of silver. He then proceeded to demonstrate. Pulling up a bucket brimming with silver coins. A clever ruse he had arranged in advance. Eyes sparkling with avarice, the farmer was captivated. If I own this well, my financial worries will vanish forever, he thought. Eagerly he asked, What's the price? The deceiver grinned and replied, <laughs> The original cost is 100 gold coins. But I'll offer it to you for a special price, my friend. Just 75 gold coins. Entranced by the illusion of boundless riches, the farmer headed home to collect the money with the cunning man stealthily trailing behind. Back at home, the farmer's astute wife cast a shadow of doubt over the extravagant tale of the silver well. Before we squander our life's savings, she cautioned, Let's seek advice from the wise folks in the village. Her husband conquered, approaching the sly man to request a day's grace to arrange the funds. Come tomorrow morning and I'll have the money ready. He promised, secretly plotting his next move. The cunning man departed, believing his prey had taken the bait. However, the farmer soon sought counsel from a sagacious elder. The wise man was flabbergasted by the silver well story and suggested a cunning counter move. When he returns, the elder said, demand that he put in writing that the silver well belongs to him and that he's selling it to you for 75 gold coins. If he refuses to provide a written receipt, offer him 10 gold coins instead. A legitimate seller will accept. A fraudster will agree. The farmer heeded the advice and waited for the cunning man's return. The following morning, when the deceiver arrived, the farmer said, I am ready to purchase the silver well. 
but I require written confirmation that it's yours. That it indeed produces silver and that you're selling it to me for 75 gold coins. The crafty man peeled at this demand, stammering, you, you see, my dear friend, uh, my words is my is uh, uh, is my is my bond. Isn't that enough? Uh? The farmer stood firm, saying, "If you can't put it in writing, then I'll only pay ten gold coins. Is that agreeable?" The trickster, cornered and exposed. Reluctantly conceded. Oh, uh, well, uh, yes, sir, sir, certainly. Now with certainty that the deceiver was a fraud, the farmer seized him and handed him over to the village's early enforcers. The cunning man received a thorough thrashing and was summarily banished from the village, never to deceive anyone again. So, Chiku, that was today's story. What was your takeaway from today's story? Grandma, I learned the importance of honesty, critical thinking and seeking advice when faced with tricky situations. It also shows the consequences of deceit and the significance of standing up against deception. The farmer's wife demonstrated the importance of being skeptical and thinking critically. Before making significant decisions, it's wise to seek advice and explore all angles. And I am sure Vijay and all my friends will learn from this story. Yes, Chiku, you're right. And that wraps up today's blog. Grandma is closing the book for now. See you next week. Till then, take care. Calling all our young listeners and readers. We want to see your creativity in action. Share your drawings, poems or anything inspired by this blog with us. We'll showcase your amazing work in our next post. Can't wait to see you what you come up with. And that wraps up today's story. Grandma is closing the book for now. See you next week. Take care.